Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Flux, and this is actually a long-form video of me making a beat. I had a beat uh, that I had done the other night. It wouldn't open because some craziness happened. So I decided I would make a new version of the beat, um, not a complete recreation, just you know a different take on the same beat, and uh, show you all the steps that I go through when I make a beat. Uh, everything from using the mini brute to create a new instrument to um, deciding what kind of percussion I want to use, uh, tailoring up the drums a little bit, uh, adding variations to the patterns, sequencing it out, all the little stuff in between. So it's a long form video, close to an hour long, and I'm going to see about possibly doing an edited version as well. Uh, that's that's cut down, but a lot of people have been asking me for a long form version of a beat making video where I go from absolute scratch on up. Well, this is it. So, peace. Let me do it like this first. Let me just get my tempo. To usually tap my own hi-hats in so that I get a, uh, a nice variation and I like to play it all at once so I, I get that kind of feel. Um, right now it is it is quantizing um, to uh, the 30 second note but I actually have my tempo set to half time of what this beat kind of is. But that's because I'm going for a, um, a more melancholy feel of this beat. So a lot of the times when I do melancholy style beats, I'll set the tempo um, half time and then, um, you know, just kind of do my drums like that. It's just it's just the way that I work. Sometimes when I want something more upbeat feeling, a lot of times I'll, I'll double time it. Um, you know, it, it just all depends on what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do now is... Um, I think what I'll do is I'm going to use the, the mini brute and um, I'm just going to get, I'm, I'm going to make a quick bass sound real quick. Uh, so let's go to sampling here, uh, input 2, 3, alright, turn on monitoring, alright, so I'm going to take my mini brute and just uh, make something here. I'm just going to sample it in um, because I'm going to be running this a few different ways. I could just MIDI it and then sample it, but that's not what I'm doing. So. I'm also not. Um, I'm not going to uh, be using single cycle on it. I'm. I, I kind of want the variation in the oscillator. So I'm going to loop this. Come way back here. About here. Let's take a look at what we have. Take that right about there. Try to get as close to the zero crossing as possible. Um, right about there. And then on the end. 
the end you want it to start or end I should say uh, right at the zero crossing as well so now I've got this let me zoom out so you can see it I'll play it up higher so it'll go faster so it loops just fine so now I've got that mini brute sound right in uh, you know right in machine and uh, I can play it polyphonically which is what I want to do so uh, with that let's go ahead and go to uh, my ADSR I'm gonna set my release that it's just slightly out of tune. Of course my dog's going crazy upstairs. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that same sound, I'm going to duplicate it over, um, because I'm going to use this sound more than once. Um, the second sound here, let's label this Mini Brute. The second sound here I'm going to make is going to be, um, I'm going to turn this into a pad. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to throw some effects on it. And, uh, sounds like the male's here. <laughs> So we're going to grab a, uh, a nice um, reverb sound. And then after that, I'm going to go and grab guitar rig. And there's a nice effect on here, if I can remember where they put it at in the machine browser. Um, that I, don't, I don't even really see it here, but... I should probably save it sometime. Uh, so, let me just load this one up, and then I'll get to it from there. turned you know what was essentially a mini brute bass into a nice pad sound going back into the sampler I'm gonna go ahead and um, add some modulation to this thing a bit um, first thing I'll do is um, I'm going to add a little bit of drive modulation from the modulation envelope. And uh, we'll go ahead, go back to drive, add just a little bit of drive. Mod wheel, I'm going to add some LFO depth, uh, probably about 18%, maybe more, um, depending on how it goes. And the LFO, 
uh, is going to go to the pitch uh, about mm, maybe 14% down. So I get this. check this real quick. I was hearing a little bit of popping there. Somehow that got pulled out of sync, but whatever. So now we've got this little, um, almost like vibrato on it. So it just kind of gives the synth a little bit of emotion. And uh, now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to start layering things together. Um, let's, hear, let's hear where the low end on this is. And I just duplicated um, the pad sound again. Pad sound. Pad sound. And the reason I do that is um, I like to record my, my upper parts and my lower parts separate so that I can affect them in different patterns and just have a little bit more versatility. So uh, let's hear what we got running first. So that's a nice start. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna make this four bar pattern. Um, and I think I'm gonna cut the drive back on that modulation destination down a little bit. less of that reverb. Let's take the mix just a little bit more dry. Nice. Okay. Now the um, the lead sound. Well, actually, it's I wouldn't even call it a lead, but I'm just gonna add some texture to that same piece um, by just playing some notes, playing a little bit of vibrato with it, and a little bit of pitch bend. So.
Now let's say I want to um, add some more variation to that. I'm just duplicating the pattern. And um, because I'm on the third sound that I created, uh, I'm not affecting the, the lower notes um, with the vibrato or the pitch bend. I'm only affecting the, the upper notes that I was playing. So now I've just duplicated that and I'm just going to do some pitch bend stuff. Um, so this is going to be a, you know another pattern on here, the third pattern. Uh, that way I get more variation. back to that original um, sound um, actually you know what I'm gonna go ahead and make another one and this time uh, I'm gonna just make it a little bit more subby hook up this fuzz pedal again now before I was going through the sub pedal this the uh, fuzz pedal this time I'm not this time I'm just gonna uh, just gonna have it straight straight mini brute That sounds good to me. Kind of like that. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to record it in. Normalize it. So it's big and fat. Loop it. Take this section right here. So let's take a big section so I keep that variation and let's take a look at it again start point you want it right at that zero crossing end point right at that zero crossing and you want it to be the same zero crossing you don't want to um if I had put it over uh, to the to the down slope it you'd hear a big click here, let me play it up high. Here, let's actually turn this down first, sorry. So now, uh, I'm just going to throw a little bit of a uh, filter on that as well from Machine so that I can kind of uh, have some modulation opportunities with it. Now, the, uh, the sample level filter and the, mo um, the actual module of the filter are very different in how they sound. Um, if you want a little bit more raspy filter, 
uh, use the sample level. If you want a smoother filter, um, you know, more high quality filter, use the module level. Uh, so let's see where we're at. Drop down. And again, we're going to set, I'm going to set the uh, ADSR. I'm going to give it a little bit of attack here, 15%. Maybe 25 and then release probably be short around 30 that should be about right so let's see where we're at now um, we'll go ahead and lay this down Now I want a little bit more separation um, as far as the, the bass and the pad sound. Like if we listen to just the bass. And then we add in the, the pad. And then just the pad. So what I'm actually going to do is uh, I'm going to put a little bit of a maximizer on here. If you want, you can do stuff like uh, grab a, um, a multi-band compressor or you know something like alloy and and really kind of clean it up a good bit. Um, where is it at? I like this one here. We'll go with the sub isolator just to keep it tight. The maximizer is, is really kind of um, put it more um, center of the mix. Uh, so, what I'm going to do here is now that I've got that done, and I'm, I'm keeping the bass kind of fairly low on there. I'm going to take my hi-hats and bring them down just a touch. bit more reverb on the drums as well. Now that I have that down, um, 
what I like to do is um, I'm actually going to duplicate my scene over now, and uh, I'm going to remove the uh, the the base for two scenes. Duplicate one more actually, and I'm just doing this kind of for uh, to make it easier to memorize. And I'm going to make a uh, let's go to mini brute here. We're going to do two two three. And right here, I'm going to do a drum change as well. So I'm going to duplicate this drum pattern. Alright, so now I'm going to go and use Omnisphere um, to just add a little bit of, um, a little bit more emotion in here. Uh, I like Omnisphere a lot because it's pretty much, the second you start playing it, it's just really inspiring. Uh, you can pretty much grab almost any patch on it and, and you just like, wow. I mean, it's just, it's a very beautiful sounding instrument. <laughs> I'm actually going to go for, I believe, where is it at? Alright, so that's the general idea, just to add a little bit more depth. Let's do that.
at this point, uh, what I'd like to do is like add uh, some interesting percussion stuff. So um, I'll go to let's say, um, hmm, let's go to damage. Um, we'll go to damage just because it's extremely fast to get um, interesting percussion going and uh, really just make things happen that feel good. Um, first thing I'm going to do is instead of just grabbing up the, in the individual hits, I'm going to take a look at, um, at the, uh, the rhythmic suites because, uh, they, they, they tend to be, if you're looking for something fast, it's just a way to get something really fast. It sounds great. So that's why I like doing that. So. something a little bit more like this. So we'll check it out how it sounds. actually okay so we'll do this I'm on to another uh, scene, and this scene I'm gonna, uh, I don't know, I'm just gonna, uh, I think I'm gonna add some kind of swirling effects that are gonna be coming in. I like to use Reactor for this kind of stuff. Um, go into my user library, I've got all sorts of different um, sound boxes that are fun to use. Uh, <laughs> So just to like kind of sting it with some interesting sounds.
here I'm gonna add more drums, um, cause I like drums. Um, let's go into some of these kits that I'm testing right now, and we'll we'll try them out. Let's see, uh, let's see what happens. Okay, so I've got these drums. And this is actually a little bit of a preview of uh, the next sound pack that I'll be doing. But anyway, so I'm just going to lay some, some more drums on here. Now, just to add in some last little bits, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to use um, yeah, I'm going to mm, no, I'm not. I was going to use the finger, but instead I'm going to use um, machines built-in effects. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up Green Stretch. And the reason I'm doing it this way is just so that I have some control. Uh, you'll see. Where are we at here? So, I've made a little preset in here. You can copy it. It's pretty easy to do. And this is going to do my, my drum glitches. So, I'm going to take the pattern that I want to glitch and duplicate it. Okay. <laughs> So now I have like these just interesting little glitches that kind of run through it. And um, 
I can kind of vary up my drum patterns here a bit. And basically there you have it. Um, just build up some more scenes and uh, drop some bits in, you know, in and out. Drop the bass out here. Um, you know, drop this piece out here. Try to vary up that percussion as it goes. Come back here, here to here. I like to keep my drums kind of um, slightly varying as they go. It just kind of um, gives gives the track a little bit more depth. Um, take that out there. Here. Let's make this one really minimal. Drop the drums here. Actually, on this drum here, I'm just going to add And then here, uh, what I'll do is, let's see where I'm at, um, okay, um, hi, so today, so what I've got here is, I found a video online of some poor girl who was not very happy, and, uh, I took the audio of it. And um, I'm just going to chop it up and put it across the pads um, in different ways. I'm going to do this extremely quick. Uh, I'll show you how fast you can do this. It's really pretty nice. So I, I duplicate here. And that's going to be my scratch pad. This is going to be my main pad. My group is going to be set to one polyphony. Uh, so that I can just shut each other off really fast. Um, let's go here. Go into sampling. And uh, edit. And... I'm just going to do this really quick. Okay. So, t so today's topic is loneliness, I think. 
and would I feel right now? I do feel stuff right now that isn't things or feelings that I usually feel. So, and then I'll normalize it and then... Loneliness. I'm going to duplicate I do feel, this. I do feel to squirm, just melt away, walk past city. Because when city, because when I walk past mirrors today, I just want to squirm, just melt away, or make. Okay, so I got that. I do feel, and I'm tearing up a bit right now. And I'm tearing up a bit right now. Sorry, but I really wish that I could be more friends with my brother. And I'm tearing. And I'm and I'm tearing up a bit right now. Sorry. And I'm tearing up a bit right now. Sorry. Sorry. I do. F I absolutely love her accent. And, and that's weird. I think. I'm, I'm a bit fluffy. And so much everything in my face. I. Beautiful noses. And I have one friend, and she's really lovely and all, but 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 it feels so wrong to sort of. She's my friend and she's a really nice person and I don't want her to see me come to her and like just throw my arms around her and cry. Because throw my arms around her and cry. I do feel and talk to someone and or not just talk at all, just Sit in a sofa, yeah, curl up in a sofa with someone, boy or girl, I, I don't think I care right now. Sit in a sofa, I do feel, I do, f or I want them to just fish off, but you know, and I just sat there and thought and thought homework, and I and and I just and I just sat there and thought and thought and I had nothing to do because I had actually done my homework and I've and and I just sat and I just sat there and thought and thought and I had nothing to do. Okay, so we're getting the idea. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to throw on the group. I'm going to put etch on here just because I like the way that its uh, band pass works. So I'm going to grab the band pass, non moving filter, basic band pass, and then I'll move it to where it sounds right. Loneliness, I think. And what loneliness, I think. And what I feel right now. Loneliness, I think. And would I feel right now? Loneliness, I think. Perfect. And would I feel right now? And I'll throw. Lone when I walk past mirrors today, I just want to scream. Loneliness, I think. And.
so now I'll just make a few patterns of that. Um... And normally I would um, do more of this. I would, I would, you know, get a little bit more intricate with it, but you kind of get the idea. So the final beat comes out um, like this.
And that's how you do it. Peace.